Greetings to everyone. My name is Carlos Reyes. Welcome to our 2016 graduation ceremony. First of all, I would like to thank God for giving me this wonderful opportunity to be here as a graduate today. To our parents, friends, graduates, staff, and global students, thank you for being here and enjoying this special moment. During my past two years at Global, I learned and experienced many marvelous things. The day I came to Global, I felt strange about what was going to become of me. As I came inside the hall, I saw strangers from all around the country. I was scared to even direct a word to any one of them. Days later, I started to make friends with everyone. Throughout my first year journey, I had no eagerness to succeed in anything. I felt that the work was harsh and I couldn't handle it anymore. I wanted to go home and stay there. I made it eat and noticed my parents would not always be there. You have to learn to be independent. I was very depressed and had nowhere to go. I felt like sinking in the middle of the ocean and didn't have any more places to go. But the staff and my parents encouraged me to continue, and here I am today. Mr. Calvin Aviles, thanks for admonishing me that if you believe, you can do it. I know these words were of great benefit to us. Mr. Julian, thanks for instructing me in math and reading, for showing me not to be selfish, and to share knowledge with my companions. Mr. Javier, thanks for teaching me auto mechanics and for being patient with me. Mr. Neil and Ms. Trisha, thank you for teaching me more about God and ways to praise and show his glory. Mr. Francis Weed, thank you for being a great example for how a man of God should live. Mr. Bobby Burns, thanks for letting me do my mechanic job training to gain experience while working at your shop. To my sponsors, Mr. Troy and Ms. Lee Creeley, thank you for being your sponsorship and caring about me. To my fellow graduates, I encourage you to excel in your future and to live out what Global has taught us. To my family, thanks for being here in the worst times and for your encouragement. Last but not least, to the first and second year students, I encourage you to do your best because Global is not here for you to just learn a trade, but they are also molding you to become a man of God. Do not give up, even when you feel discouraged like I did. I thank God for my time spent here, the friends I've made, and all that I've learned. Thank you. Good afternoon to one and all. Welcome to our graduation 2016. My name is Geoffrey Gomez. I would like to welcome friends, invited guests, who have this wonderful time celebrating with us today. Mom and Dad, thank you for supporting me and encouraging me while I was away from home and growing as a young man at Global. I want to start by giving thanks to God for giving me this opportunity to be standing at this place. My past three years at Global have been a learning experience to me. I have learned a lot of things here that I needed to apply to my life. Things like working, being respectful, and helping others. I also learned to, to discipline myself. When I was a first year student, I felt like a stranger because I didn't know anyone that I had seen or spoken before. However, at, as days passed by, I was getting to know more and more friends. When I was a second year student, 
I felt like giving up on packing my bags to go home because I had many but I had many friends encouraging me not to give up even though it was hard seeing my family very often. Now that I am a senior, I am very proud because it is my last year and now I can be standing in this place. I would like to give a great thanks to Miss my family and friends for encouraging me not to give up on this journey. I would like to thank Mr. Carlos Alpuche for letting me do my job training in his wood shop. Also a great thank you to Ms. Trisha for teaching me Bible, Mr. Neil for leading us in devotion, to Mr. Charlie and Mrs. Angie Harper for sponsoring me. Mr. Yerby, thank you for teaching me woodworking. Also to Ms. Mr. Calvin Aviles for accepting me at Global Outreach and Mr. Frankie Wien for teaching me how to be a real man of God. I would also like to encourage the first and second year students not to give up, to be positive in their mind and to stay out of trouble. Thank you. Good afternoon to everyone. My name is Benjamin Aritas and welcome to our graduation exercise of 2016. I would like to give a warm welcome to my family, friends, staffs, and invited guests. Before I came to Global, I used to be a shy kid on the streets. Without a hope or a vision, I had no place to go, and I was at the verge of staying without an education, which made me very sad. When I first came at Global, I felt lonely and different. However, here at Global, I have learned many things that are beneficial to my life, such as how to conduct myself, which is the most important thing in life. To respect others and myself is another important lesson as well as learning the basic of auto mechanic. Even though at Global I had some struggles, I kept on moving forward. Now I know that anything is possible if you believe you can do it. My three years at Global had some hard times, which made me depressed and wanted to leave. But there was always someone telling me to stay and finish. Now I am proud that I have accomplished all of these things. At this time, I would like to give thanks to the people that helped me and supported me to Global. Ms. Bethany Meha, I would like to give a special thanks to you and Ms. Brenda Spell for sponsoring me to Global. Mr. Luis Mejia, thank you for, teaching, for letting me do my job experience at the auto mechanic shop. Mr. Javier, for teaching me the basic of auto mechanic. Mr. Julian, for teaching me math and reading. Ms. Trisha and Mr. Neil, for having devotion to us. Thank you, Mr. Calvin, for giving me words of encouragement. Mr. Francis Weed, thank you for teaching me how to be a man of God. To the last but not least, to my mom. Thank you for being there when I needed you. To the first and second year students, I encourage you to work hard and never give up, for opportunities just come once. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Robin Pena. I would like to extend a warm welcome to my parents, family, friends, the staff of Global, and my fellow graduates. Welcome. First of all, I would like to thank God for giving me this marvelous opportunity to be standing here today. The past two years at Global have been a wonderful experience to me. I have learned new things that will, that will benefit me in the future. Things such as woodworking and working without supervision. I also learned that respect is one of the most important things we need to know in life. Sometimes at Global, I felt like packing my bags and leaving, but my friends encouraged me to continue and to finish strong. My goal was to graduate from Global, so I listened to them and talked to them when I felt I couldn't do it. 
When I came to Global, I felt it was a life-changing experience to be in a different environment with different people. My first year at Global, I spent most of the time worrying about what would have happened if I hadn't started Global. I tried to behave to the best of my ability so that I could make it through my first year. I was successful and very happy when Mr. Calvin promoted me to be a senior. I was excited to be a senior, but being a senior meant that I would have to, that I would have to take on more responsibilities. One of those responsibilities was to be an example to the rest of the students. One of the most important things I had to do was to step up and be a good leader. There are so many people to thank for helping me on this journey. Mom and Dad, thank you for always encouraging and supporting me throughout the past two years of school. I would also like to thank Mr. Frankie and Mr. Calvin for accepting me at Global. Mr. Yorby Gomez, thank you for teaching me a lot about woodworking. To Madison Furniture Gallery, Thank you for letting me do my job training experience in your woodshop. To the staff at Global, thank you for your time that you spent on and invested in me. Keith and Lauren McWilliams, thank you so much for being my sponsors for the past two years at Global. Last but not least, I encourage the first and second year students to never give up. And remember that if you believe you can accomplish anything. Also remember that with God on your side, everything is possible. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. My name is Andy Aragon. Welcome to our 2016 graduation ceremony. I would like to welcome my family, friends, and invited guests who have come to celebrate this wonderful moment with us today. Mom. I especially want to thank you for pushing me to accomplish my goals so that I can be standing up here right now. I want to start by giving thanks to God for giving me the opportunity to be here. My past two years at Global have been a learning experience. When I first came to Global, I didn't know anyone, so I felt like a stranger. But as days passed by, I met new people and made friends. I also didn't know how to respect others or how to discipline myself. During my time in the mechanic shop, I learned, not, I learned the value of respect toward both people and their belongings. Thanks to Mr. Javier, I have learned not only the basics of mechanics, but important lessons to guide me through life. An even greater thanks goes to Mr. Calvin for accepting me to attend school here. Also, thank you to Mr. Frankie for being a strong leader and a role model to my senior class. Mr. James, I am thankful for the time I spent working alongside you in your shop. Mr. David Lane, you and your wife, Miss Susan, have been so generous and encouraging with your sponsorship for the last two years. Joe saying thank you doesn't, seems, do, doesn't seem enough to express my great appreciation. To my fellow graduates, thank you and congratulations. To the students who will continue on at Global, thank you for holding me accountable in a position of leadership. Remember, always stay focused on Christ and chase your dreams. Thank you. A pleasant good afternoon to one and all. My name is Daniel Lopez. Welcome to our 2016 graduation. I would like to welcome my mom, brothers, friends, and family. Mom. Thank you for pushing me these three years and for coming to see me all the Sundays when I needed you. For the past three years at Global, I have learned how to respect others, but the most important experience I have had was that I accepted Jesus. Before I came to Global, I did not know who I was. However, as soon as I accepted Jesus, I began to know who I am. I am at a school where they push you to accomplish many things things that you would never think you could do. For example, before I came to Global, I thought I could not graduate from any other school. But now that I came to Global, they pushed me to graduate. 
The school makes me think about my future and how to plan before my time. For instance, Mr. Calvin advised us before we leave campus that we have changed. And when we go home, we do change. And people see that we have changed. People like Mr. Derek Roberts have noticed that I have changed and that I have grown up in so many ways. When I was a first year student, I would run around and not know what I wanted in life. Now that I am a senior, I can think for myself and know what I want in life. I would like to thank Mr. Calvin for accepting me to Global and for being, for, and for being my helper throughout the time. I want to thank Mr. Manolo for showing me the good trade of woodworking and Mr. Julian for teaching me math and reading. Ms. Trisha, thank you for your Bible lessons, which give me a lot of scripture, like Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Mr. Billy Mack and Ms. Brenda, it is great to see you here today. I thank you, as well as Mr. Matthew and Ms. Courtney, for being my sponsors and to guide me on the right path. Thank you. For the boys still continuing at school, control yourself and be on your guard. Your enemy, the devil, is uh, like a roaring lion. He prowls around looking for someone to devour. So boys, stand firm in your faith in God and he will never lead you astray. Thank you. Good afternoon. I want to say a warm welcome to parents, guests, staff, and students. Welcome to our 2016 graduation. My name is Keith Zenega. Throughout my years at Global, it has been the best of times and the worst of times, but it was time well invested. It has been a long two years, but it feels so short. Now I'm up here with my eight additional brothers who have accomplished what many have not. At Global, I have learned that whether you win or lose, you should still give thanks to God. I remember my first year, we went to play basketball and we lost to the team who never wins anything. <laughs> However, we still praise God. And my last year, we came in second. It was much harder, but we enjoyed it. I also learned the art of welding. It feels really, and it feels really good to acquire such a skill. What I love most about Global is that it teaches godly principles and, and we also have devotions every day. I love it because I enjoy worship music. Our school motto is training boys to be men of God and Global really transformed my life. It was hard in my first year because I was not used to the place. But in my second term I did well so they promoted me to be a senior. I thought being a senior was a good thing and that I could do anything and get away with it. But, but being a senior meant that I had a lot of responsibilities. A wise man once told us, you will either be an example or an example will be made of you. So I got it at the end. Global is a great school and has good people and it does a lot for people also. So I say that Global is not trying to change us, it is sticking back the pieces. No one can change you. That's what makes you unique. You just have to be the best you you can be. Now I'd like to thank some people for how they helped me to understand that. I'd like to thank Mr. Javier Castro, Mr. Julian Ramirez, Mr. Calvin Aviles, Mr. Francis Wade, Mr. Neil and Mrs. Trisha for always correcting me and guiding me up to this point. I would like to thank Mr. Santiago and Mrs. Liliana Valencia for being my mentors when I'm not at school. I'd like to thank my uncle for encouraging me and helping me financially. Mom, thank you for trusting me to do well and for always being concerned. Dad, thank you also for helping me financially and telling me to do better. I would like to thank my boss at job training, Mr. Melkis Fernandez, who was a past graduate at Global. Aunt Nadine, thank you. Thank you for teaching me to read and to do a lot of my academics. It helped me throughout my life. 
Mrs. Sane and Mr. Gede and Mrs. Kela. Thank you for sponsoring me at Global. Mr. Calvin, you saw something in me that no one else saw, and I tried really hard to be able to, to be graduating here today. Thank you for all you've done for me and for everyone here. First and second year students, there is something I want to share with you today. Nobody can change you. It's up to you to change yourself and be the best you you can be. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Edwin Orizar, and welcome to our 2016 graduation. I would like to welcome the parents, families, staff, and guests for being here. These past three years at Global were difficult. At the same time, they were wonderful. When I came to Global, I felt like a stranger, walking into a room full of people I didn't know. My first year, my first year, I started making new friends, and I didn't feel like a stranger anymore. Sometimes at Global, I felt like packing my bags and leaving, but my friends encouraged me to continue and finish the year. I am glad now, looking back, that I stayed. At Global, I learned how to work hard and learn to do things that I never saw before, even though I make mistakes. And I got angry when I couldn't do what everyone was expected of me. However, this also taught me to not give up when I'm doing a job or working in a class, and to respect others and to respect people that I didn't know. I would like to thank God for helping me every day while I was at Global and give, for giving me life. Mom, thank you for helping me and being there for me when I needed. Thank you, Mom. Dr. Larry, thank you for sponsoring me for the past three years and encourage me to study hard. Thank you, Dr. Larry. Mr. Calvin, thank you for encouraging me to not give up when I was kicked out of work. Mr. Frankie, thank you for teaching me how to respect people and how to be a real man of God. I also want to thank Mr. Julian for teaching me math and reading. Ms. Trisha, for teaching me Bible and being a mom for me while I was at Global. Mr. Neil, for teaching me life skills. Mr. Irby, for teaching me woodworking. And Mr. Lopez, for letting me do my job experience at your woodshop. To the students who, who are staying at school, I encourage you to think before you act, never give up, finish well, and someday you will be standing here just like me. Thank you. Greetings to everyone. My name is Yoni Sibian. I would like to give a warm welcome to my family and to each one of you who are hearing me at this moment. Welcome. As some of you may know, I am one of the group of four students who were promoted to the senior grade after completing only one year at Global. Mr. Calvin approached me about this because he thought I was ready for a higher level of academics. During my past two years at Global, I learned many things that can help me in my future. Things such as how to discipline myself, how to treat others, and the ability to do my work. Sometimes life was challenging. There were various things that we were not supposed to do. At Global, we have to live by the rules, and anyone who refuses to obey these rules has to face the consequences. Because of this, one thing I learned at Global was that stubborn people don't long last anywhere. The purpose of Global Outreach is to prepare us for the things that are in the world. They teach us that if we are determined to do something, we can accomplish it with God's help. I would like to thank God for giving me this opportunity to be here today. Mom and Dad, I especially want to express how much I appreciate all the help you gave me and for convincing me to keep going on. It's also great and very encouraging to see some of my friends here today continuing to support my efforts. To Mr. Carlos Alpuche, 
I appreciate him for the time that he admitted me in his workshop, for helping me to accomplish my job training skills as a woodworker. To the staff of Global, I thank all of you for teaching me how to become a man of God. Sarah Conrad, I am so pleased to see you here today. Your sponsorship for more than a year has allowed me to have this wonderful life experience. Last but not least, my encouragement to the first and second year students is that you need to continue to try hard. There is always something good right around the corner. You should think smart in your choices. Be leaders and not followers. And put God first, because with Him, everything is possible. Thank you.